To class 1A now, where all the rest of the area teams are. This one, a historic matchup. Why, you may ask? Why? Well, it's the first high school football playoff game Bozeman has hosted ever in the history of the school. And for the first one, the Bucks hosted the Port St. Joe Sharks. Port St. Joe gets the ball rolling in this one, making their way down the field and into the red zone here. And it's the Sharks quarterback, Colin Amison, with a QB sneak right up the middle for the first score of the game at 6-0 Sharks. Well, they go for the extra point here, but it's blocked by the Bucks. Bozeman QB Jordan Rizal says, not at our house, baby. And I feel like that blocked extra point was what the Bucks needed to get their blood pumping because they start making their way down the field on the very next possession. Well, they're gonna get close. Rosal is here looking to pass. He's gonna pitch it real quick to Devin Embrick, who was just waiting for that one in the end zone. Extra point is good at seven to six bucks. Pirates get the ball back and start encroaching on the end zone. Once again, they're making their way down that field. Uh, first down, first down. Amison sends the ball through the air, only to connect with the wrong person. Bucks Ben McDonald nabs that pass for an interception, but the Bucks don't do anything with that. Instead, Sneed's offense gets a little boost from, guess what, Bubba Ash, who shoves off defenders to get them close again. Nick Jefferson is actually the shark here to punch in this touchdown and steal that lead back. Sharks go for two and check this out, Emma. It's my favorite play. Let's see. It's it. Kelvin Griffin here, right up the middle with the aerobatics, with that Slipped on beautiful, by. beautiful tumble into the end zone. It's good. And we'll put Port St. Joe up 14 to 7. Bucks now feeling the pressure of the clock, trying to get their way down the field before halftime. Rosales with some great passes, and he is able to get them down the field. He gets them close. One minute to go now. Rosales looking to pass. He sends a bomb, and it's intercepted by Octavius Russell. What a way to end the half for the Sharks. It was 14 to 7. And you know what? Port St. Joe goes on wow. to win this one. So that was some a good half there. And uh, 35 to 14 over the Bucks. Looks like an awesome game. Another area team moving on in the playoffs. Yeah, we'll, we'll see where, where they end up in just a little bit. We'll tell you who.